Hi guys, Ryan here again from ScalarEnergyPendence.com. I uh, just wanted to run through a quick uh, FAQ of questions people have been asking me, uh, just wondering about these pendants. So I'm just going to run through them really quick. So uh, the biggest question I get, and uh, I understand it, makes sense. Uh, people are concerned if something can have this kind of beneficial effect. Is there any potential danger? And I'll let you know right now, uh, based on what I've experienced, testing everything, uh, there's absolutely no dangers with these pendants. I have a certificate from the manufacturer proving that there's no toxic levels of any metals uh, contained within it. Uh, it's up to the highest standards of any production uh, manufacturing of these pendants you can find anywhere else. Uh, as well as that, I actually have something called a uh, Geiger meter, which I'll get and show to you right now. Let me go grab that. And oh, it's right here. And this, um, if you haven't seen one before, basically tests the uh, level of radiation. It can go through uh, magnetic, electric, radioactive. So I like testing a lot of things all the time. It's probably one of my biggest hobbies, you could say, to a fault almost. And uh, as I go over it, there's nothing. Nothing going on, let me see. Actually, the only reason it was going up was because it was coming close to the camera. So, no, just like not, just basically stuck at one the whole time because it's surrounded <laughs> by EMF sources like we all are at all times. So watch, I'll pull the pendants away. It's still stuck at one, so it's nothing to do with the pendants. It's just whatever's around here. I'm not sure because it's the camera. Oh, anyway, so there you have it. That's the Geiger meter test. And uh, so they're perfectly safe. It's a very similar to if you're used to healing stones, healing crystals in general. Uh, same idea. You know, there, there's nothing to really be afraid of. A lot of those things too, if you were to muscle test, you probably find you get uh, quite a few unique benefits from them as well. So uh, the next question I get quite often is regarding uh, bathing. And uh, if you're able to bathe with the pendant or swim with it, and yes and no, I like to say, because yes, you can absolutely do that. The pendant won't wear away. Um, it's quite sturdy. Uh, there's no issue with that at all, in fact. And uh, the only problem being not so much with the pendant, but the string itself, which if you don't mind, you know, you can swim with it. And uh, over time, I found if you get the string wet and then dry, wet and then dry, it starts to wear away. Uh, so that's the only issue. I mean, of course, replacing the, the string can cost you like a dollar, so that's not even a problem. Um, so beyond that, really, uh, if you're swimming, you know, especially if you're out swimming in a lake and you have it on, uh, you know, you don't want to lose it. That's the only thing, really. Uh, but as far as getting it wet, there's no problem at all. I actually wash mine every so often because uh, I do believe that helps in some way. Uh, well, they say for a lot of different types of healing stones, it's good to wash them every so often because... Uh, if they are, you know, in fact, pulling in these negative energies, uh, it helps to cleanse them. And the same, on the same token, actually, if you were to go outside and leave it in the sun for about four hours, uh, every so often they actually recommend it. Not that the pendant loses power, but by doing so, you actually give it more of a charge. Uh, and I found that to be true, actually, when I've left it out in the sun uh, for about four hours and put it on, not because it was warm. I mean, even once it cooled off, I found I just had this extra boost from it that it didn't give off naturally. And then it will it will normally just kind of drop down to its normal level that it gives off. So uh, as well, I've got the box here just in case you wanted to see. That's how it comes with the authenticity card with the number that does match the pendant as well. I don't know why this video is so dark. I really apologize for that. Just the lighting turn on every light in the room. <laughs> Camera still can't seem to pick up the light. Well, so there you have it. That's the uh, the box with the pendant. Um, besides that, uh, oh, how long? How often can you wear it? Uh, you can wear it all day if you want. That's not a problem. Uh, I typically take it off when I go to bed because I find if I wear it, I'm not going to sleep uh, for whatever reason. Just the uh, energy it gives off. It could be the negative ion effect as well. Um, I find as well the effect, to me, works best when it is touch, touching against the skin. I do believe that the energy it passes on is more um, effective, uh, you know, on surface, on skin contact. If it's just hanging over a shirt, it still works. 
uh, but just that's just me. I find it does work more effectively when it's touching skin. And when it is directly touching skin and I'm trying to sleep, I really have trouble sleeping. Um, and I do believe it's because of the negative ions because I recently bought a negative ion generator which puts out an awful lot and last night was actually the first night I had it on while trying to sleep and it took me at least two hours to fall asleep and I finally did eventually but I and I was tired I, I knew there was no reason for me to stay up it was definitely uh, the ne negative ions which if you're not familiar with uh, can keep you up because they give you so much energy uh, whereas the positive ions will give you headaches and drain your energy and most sources most electronics out there will give off uh, sorry positive ions such as TVs, uh, computers as well, uh, which is a big reason why people have fatigue, headaches, and just feel grumpy when they're around all these EMF sources. Uh, so there's a lot going on around us that we don't really realize. Um, so that's that. If you want, you can wear it. Some people wear it to bed and they find they heal faster, they feel better. Uh, that's just me. So there's no real 100% uh, you know, uh, sort of style of wearing it. You can wear it as often or as little as you want. Uh, interesting note, my brother recently, uh, he had been wearing it every day, he was perfectly fine, and then he stopped wearing it for about a day, and then he was going to some kind of event, and he was already feeling kind of so-so, uh, he wasn't feeling that great, and he hadn't, mind you, he hadn't been wearing it for about a day. Prior to that, he said he was perfectly fine, and then he went to this event, and go figure, he was around a lot of different people, he got sick, he came back, and he's looking for different things to make him feel better. I told him to put on the pendant, and within like about two hours, he said his throat was starting to feel better. So uh, that's just one account. I've heard a lot of interesting stories, and my own too. I haven't been sick once since I started wearing this. Uh, normally, I used to get sick uh, quite frequently, even after I really, uh, you know, start getting the hang of alternative healing and a lot of different, uh, you know, natural things you can do for your health. Um, I would still get sick, you know, at least probably one to two times every year guaranteed uh, definitely at least once and it's been well over a year now I haven't been sick once and the only difference the only thing I can figure out is this it's the only thing I have hit those points where I kind of felt like my energy was getting kind of low but um, I would never really crash uh, and that's why I tell people with this it's not so much that it's boosting your energy which it does do but it's it's more that it prevents that burnout level of fatigue uh, from uh, affecting you. So for those who are already dealing with uh, adrenal fatigue and chronic fatigue, uh, I really can't emphasize enough how much the pendant can potentially help. You know, I can't make any medical claims for anyone, but I do personally believe anyone who's dealing with issues regarding uh, fatigue-induced uh, breathing issues or fatigue-induced uh, uh, just anything, really, <laughs> across the board, uh, it's really amazing for what I can do for that. So uh, the other thing people are always wondering about, which I, I know I've probably mentioned already, but just want to say again, it does have the serial number right there, you can see. So serial number also matches the card that comes in the box. Um, the makeup of the pendant, if you're wondering, it's a combination actually, It's uh, which I only found out recently. I did originally believe it was 100% volcanic rock. That's not true, it's majority uh, volcanic rock, uh, actually an estimated estimated about 70 to 80 percent because they don't like to give away the actual uh, exact mixture but there's also some tourmaline powder. Uh, tourmaline is another healing stone if you're not familiar with it. Very good for grounding. Uh, a lot of other uh, benefits as well but the reason they put it in here is because they found the the effect of the tourmaline combined with the volcanic rock created an additional charge that was uh, already there to a certain degree naturally in the volcanic rock but by adding in the tourmaline it emphasized that so what you have is additional negative ion output uh, and that's really the only reason it's in there just to amplify those negative ions however the scalar energy is already naturally present in the volcanic rock which is in here so essentially what you're looking at is just a volcanic rock they've melted it down they've added in the tourmaline powder they basically make a mixture of it and then they simply uh, press it into a form, into a shape, which is this pendant. So really nothing, uh, you know, super special about it. I know there's a lot of people talking about how unique the process is and all this, and really it's uh, it's a lot of people liking to, uh, I guess they want to talk about how unique or special it is. To, to me, I mean, it's like any other healing stone, you know, uh, that isn't in its natural form. They have to basically break it down some way, and then uh, if they're forming into a jewelry they have to uh, go through a certain process, which is necessary for anything like this. 
so that's all there is to it. It's it's very nice though, and you know the job they do is quite nice, uh, and it's uh, a decent sized you know pendant. Like I have a I guess a somewhat larger hand, so that's how big it is. Uh, I have a lot of kids who have worn these, uh, no no problem at all. Actually, kids if you don't if you're not aware of uh, lately in schools are having lots of issues, at least here in Canada, with uh, kids having issues with EMFs. And because there's no grounding anymore, everything's done with Wi-Fi, and there's Wi-Fi throughout the whole school, uh, they're finding, I think it's about 20 to 30 percent of kids are showing symptoms related to EMF uh, issues. And I, you know, again, I can't make guarantees on health claims or anything like that, but I, <laughs> I would I would highly suggest giving this to them in that case, uh, because typically uh, once they start wearing one of these, you know, and of course reducing as much as they can their exposure to EMFs. Uh, but they should start feeling better. So, okay, so the other question people always give is why is it so cheap? Why are you selling so cheap compared to these people selling for hundreds of dollars? And, well, to be honest, the, the better question to ask is, isn't why is it so cheap, but why are these guys selling it for so much? Um, the, as I explained, the process of this is no different than if you took any other healing stone, healing rock, and then had to um, basically melt it down and then create some form of a uh, unique, uh, you know, pendant or form of jewelry, and that's all they've done here. So there's really nothing mystical about it. The whole healing effect is entirely caused between the tourmaline stone in here uh, and the volcanic rock. That's all there is to it. There's no charging of it. I know there's other pendants and things out there where they they say they charge it, and that's fine. I've tried those. Uh, to be honest, I, I personally prefer the one that actually has the rock in it. The other ones. Uh, I'm sure they work fine. In my muscle tests though, uh, I went through uh, a, somewhere around 30 different designs. About half were the uh, rock one, like you see here, and the other half were like stainless steel metal ones. And throughout the entire test, I think with the exception of maybe one or two uh, that were also in the uh, top 10, uh, all the other metal ones were at the bottom and all the ceramic ones with the actual stone were at the top. Uh, and ironically enough, in that uh, test I did, I had three of these uh, mixed in. They're all in the same packages, so I couldn't see what they were. And I was actually having my friend hold them, so I didn't know based on the weight what each one was. And with my eyes closed, after testing about 30 of them, guess what the top three were? Yeah, all three of these. It was really bizarre. I wish I'd filmed that, because that, uh, I don't know. I'm sure if I did it again, we spend some time, I'm sure I'll get the same result or something very close to it. Uh, because in muscle testing, can be very accurate. It's tar it's really difficult to say it's 100% because there's so many different uh, possible variables that can go into every single test. But if it's done correctly, it it will show uh, signs of something that will benefit you, such as the pendant. Um, so then, getting around to that, uh, as far as muscle testing goes, if you have any question uh, questions, send me a an email. It does take a bit of time for some people uh, and it's not a battle of strength or wills it's more of a, a test of resistance so you find out where their resistance is at and then you try them again with the pendant or say with a cell phone if you're at home you can actually hold a cell phone in one hand have someone push your arm or push your hands behind your back and you'll find you fall over really easily your your arm goes down very easily uh, with very little resistance so um, yeah give that a shot if you're at home right now and you're wondering about this just grab a cell phone and uh, have someone muscle test you watch the videos on my main page of my site and uh, you'll be amazed. You'll get really weak, and then you'll find when you put one of these on, you'll no longer have any resistance issues to the EMF source. And in fact, on top of that, you'll actually find you're stronger than you were initially, even with a cell phone in hand, by wearing one of these. And of course, uh, I'll finish off mentioning again, I do have the 60-day money-back guarantee, um, which covers absolutely everything. Uh, you know, all I ask is that you ship it back to me in the same condition that I came in, if, uh, if possible, you know. Um, I've had virtually no returns. I've had just a couple cases, uh, and actually they're pretty much either, uh, in one case, the person was extremely skeptical to begin with and didn't want to believe it. They only gave it about 10 days, and because they didn't feel some profound change, you know, they basically said, okay, that's enough, which I, I gotta mention, like, it's not, for some people they do feel a lot, they're very sensitive, but for others, you know, it's not gonna be that profound mind-blowing experience that some expect so just you got to bear with it sometimes the effect is so subtle that you might notice it but it is working I believe you mean it does and then uh, in other cases it was just uh, actually one other case just the woman was kind of surprised why it was working so well and actually scared her so that was pretty much it 
Uh, so running out of time here. Uh, hopefully I've explained everything. Let me know if you have any other questions at all. Check out my Scalar Energy Pendants FAQ if you have any other questions and you want to find some answers.